a sweet childhood memory. A sweet childhood memory. Who did I aspire to be as a child or who did I look up to? Well, I would have to say that was in my family and now who is an ancestor, my beautiful sister, Brenda. She had the most beautiful smile. Um, she could also sing, uh, but she really was a, a great, um, she was very photogenic. Um, her, her smile would just light up. Her eyes would do this thing with the cameras that was just um, amazing. Um, and it came out as the look when you would look, in, look at her photos. And modeling just happened to be something that my family has always done. Even I put my children in it. And my, if you follow my children, you would know that they are artists, entrepreneurs. Um, they've done a lot of work in the music industry. Um, they work with, you know, others that are in the music industry. Um, and so we all have this light and gift of, smile photography and entertainment and so that's who as a child and to say this is something that I am going to continue a childhood memory um, because sometimes I think when we go back to our inner child and who we were at that time we find the best gifts so I just wanted to share that with you today Well, there you have it, Grief Nation listeners, and thank you for tuning in to another transformative segment on It's the Miami Night Show Grief Talk. Today, we give thanks filled with love and gratitude to our special guests for expressing your very unique grief journey and sharing ways of understanding the healing process. This is your girl, Miami Night, with much love and light until we connect again spiritually. Bye-bye. It's the Miami Night Show. Hey, yeah. He's got me walking that group walk. Going slow mo. He's got me talking that group talk. Going slow mo. He's got me clocking the way. What up, tribe? It's Miami Night Show, Master hey, Coach. Yeah. Welcome to the Miami Night Show. He got me walking that grief walk. It's time for grief talk, y'all. Yeah. I talk about things you think about. It's Miami Night Show, Master Grief Coach.